<laughs> ran out of gas? Yeah, I ran out of gas. Hello! Today I am going to be talking about how we did the bed, cabinets, and our sweet countertop. We had a lot of wood in our backyard and so we actually ended up recycling that and using it for the bed frame. During this step we had some help from Michael's brother. He owns a hardware store and so he came down and kind of helped us out setting up the framing for basically what I'm sitting on right now. And then we started construction on the frame of the bed which is different from the supports. The thing that I'm sitting on right now that goes up like this is actually free floating so it's in a separate piece we could take it out if we wanted to so the hard part about this step was figuring out the correct measurements for making actually the bed turn into a couch sprinters aren't a perfect square if you can look the corners behind me are kind of at an angle like this so the van itself kind of goes like this it bows it's wider at the bottom than it is at the top so we really had to figure out a way to cut corners so that when the bed was lying flat we still had enough room to sleep on it and then when we wanted to turn the bed into a couch it was narrow enough so that it wouldn't uh, hurt the, the paneling once the paneling was up. While we were making the bed, Michael had the great idea to include secret compartments under the bed frame, which I love. It's a really great solution for storing things like books, toiletries, extra clothes, knickknacks, things like that that aren't going to fit in drawers. In order to do this, we had to add a billion hinges to the bed frame, which was a huge pain in the ass, but also incredibly rewarding. I'm glad that we did it. The van bed. Ta da! Um, it has secret, not so secret, compartments for long term storage. So, after the bed frame, we had to make the cabinets. A lot of people watching my other videos have pointed out that we could have just purchased cabinets and then screwed them to the van. The only problem with that is that the van walls, like I said, are curved and anything prefabricated wouldn't necessarily fit snugly in uh, the space that we wanted it to and we would have ended up sacrificing precious space. Also, each cabinet is a different depth. So starting with the fridge, yeah, is it like 24 inches deep? and then the cabinets next to it are 20 inches deep and then the storage space on the very end of the countertop where the sink is I think is even is 16 inches deep and so that way from the bed walking towards the two front driver's seats um, we actually get more space in this like miniature hallway we made three main compartments uh, along the cabinet area one for the fridge one for food storage toiletries kitchen area and one for the water tanks. We made all of it. We made the face plates and the drawers. Let me tell you, if you ever want to test your relationship with another human being, just build a set of drawers together. It is a terrible activity. And I have so much respect for people who are cabinet makers as a profession because I wanted to shoot myself after making one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. After making thirteen drawers, I wanted to die. It was awful. So if you make cabinets for a living, I salute you, that's amazing. So we just cut out all of these where the drawers are gonna go. And now we're gonna put the face plate on and it's going to look super fly. After the bed frame was built, we went to a friend's house. He was milling his own lumber. He had like a mill and lots of trees on his property. And he had a bunch of madrone slabs, like 18 foot long madrone slabs. And he donated one to our van. We milled it together. Uh, it was terrifying. I was positive that it was going to be like one of the scenes in Final Destination where cut off at the knees and just fall into a blade coming at you. So uh, it freaked out a little bit. So then we went home and we cut the madrone. We're about to cut the slab of madrone. Michael is making the final cuts, the final lines right now. 
And then this beautiful slab of madrone will be our countertop. But it's stressful. I'm gonna get one cut. This was really hard, actually. That wood is incredibly hard. We had to get a different saw blade that had special diamond tips in order to cut it. We finished the countertop. In order to do the sink, we made a template for the sink, which we taped down, traced out, and then used a jigsaw to just go around the corners. So Michael made a template for where the sink is gonna go, and this is our water spigot. It's a baby. And we're just gonna sit it on here. This is just the template where we wanna draw things. That is gonna get cut into, well, that is gonna go in there once we clean it. Um, and that template is going to cut right in here. So we're gonna have a hole about this wide um, where we're gonna have our sink mounted. How are you feeling? Very nervous. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. This is almost as scary as drilling a hole in the ceiling of the van. <laughs> it's gonna be fine. Cutting was really slow going, especially when it was with the wood grain. For some reason that was harder. I would have thought that going against the grain would have been harder, but no, going with the grain was a lot more work. And things started to smoke and like charred piss pieces of wood kept flying out of the bottom and burning your skin. It looks like I'm not doing anything, but I am. After the countertop and the cabinets, then we have the battery box which is right there. So we used some of the leftover Madrone as a countertop for this battery box. It kind of um, subs as like a seat, footstool, table, end table for everything. And it's also the battery box. And then finally we had to do the drawers in the back of the van, which are not the ones that are directly below me, but the ones that are kind of behind me. These are our long-term storage drawers. I think that they're like three feet wide by four feet deep each. There's three of them. And Michael and I each have one, and then we have one that we Share. These drawers tested my resolve. I absolutely hated making them. And if you ever have to make drawers yourself, do not go with a soft close click option. Those ones have these teeny tiny little metal ball bearings and unless you get everything exactly right and you're professional and you've done this before, it's so difficult to line everything up. So just go with regular sliding drawers. Don't go with the like soft close ones. They are hell. So here is the final product. Uh, right here is our fridge. It's rad. I'm a huge fan. Um, these are our drawers. This is uh, like kitchen utensils as well as spices and stuff. In here is all of our cups and plates and bowls and things. In here is our toiletries. So anything we need to shower or clean ourselves with. And finally, the bottom drawer, which is the biggest, is our pantry, which is looking a little sparse. I think I need to go shopping. Um, and then on this side is our water area. Oh, it's a bad sound. Um, clean water is on the left, gray water is on the right. And then there's our sink. So, yeah. Uh, and that's it. Thanks for watching. Uh, I'll see you next time. Let me know if you have any questions. Bye.